good kitten internet. I am waiting for a cab to arrive so I can go to my doctor's appointment to clean out my ears. Fun! And done. That literally took five minutes. It takes me longer to get here or wait for the cab or anything like that than it does for me to actually get any part of the procedure done. <sighs> it's kind of annoying, but not much of a choice. Anyway, I am taking this opportunity to walk over to a nearby pharmacy to buy a replacement blood pressure cuff because mine exploded yesterday. <sighs> yesterday was a bad day, but replace blood pressure cuff and also see if they have any more masks because this is my second to last N95. And well, if I'm already going over to a pharmacy, I might as well check for unmasks. Anyway, be back. Mmm, delicious pizza lunch. And I'm back. Hi. Uh, it's many hours later, if you couldn't tell from how dark it looks outside. Um, I just finished editing, or I've been finished editing, but I just started uploading uh, yesterday's vlogorama, or whatever you want to call cramming in nine vitas into one video. Um, I am doing better at the moment, for reference, and not just because there's a kitty who's very happy to see me. Right there. Um... But I finally got a hold of my therapist, so we talked a few things out, gave me a few strategies for dealing with the utter hell of last week, um, and also talked with my supervisor to let her know, hey, look, I'm not doing well, and my work output's going to be garbage, which she's thankfully very understanding, and we spent most of the meeting just talking about college stuff. Uh... So this vlog is going to be fairly quick for me, just because I don't want to take forever in editing it, and I'm going to upload it tonight. I'm just going to stagger the release of this vlog to be later on in the afternoon tomorrow, just so I don't have two vlogs going up at once, given that one of them's a mega depressing thing of doom. So yeah, um, talk to you later, internet. Bye. Not bye, because I totally forgot the whole point of for me recording tonight, I was going to explain why I had gone to the doctor yesterday. It actually had nothing to do with my mental state. Um, the re This is why I turned that off last vlog. Um, the reason why I went to the doctor is because I have a problem with my ears, specifically inside of the ears. Um, I think I might have mentioned this in a vlog before, but I don't remember, and I really wish I would have had the foresight to ask the nurse to record what she did, but basically my ears, the ear canal is such where earwax never leaves my ear, or if it does, it leaves it very sparingly. So over days, weeks, months, I constantly have wax buildup until there's effectively an eraser stuck in my ear. Um, for reference, this was one of the longer periods of time that I've gone without it being cleaned, and that was five or six months. In those five or six months, uh, my entire ear was completely covered with earwax. That's usually the point where I'll start noticing some sound problems, namely, I have to crank my headphones louder in order to hear the same things, and eventually it com gets completely plugged up. Uh, that usually happens at about a year. So I'm about two to three times a year I'm supposed to just have them clean them out. It's basically taking warm water and hydrogen peroxide with a very large syringe and squirting into my ear trying to get the piece of earwax lodged out, or dislodged, not lodged out. Rinse repeat with a second ear. For a lot of people when they have this operation happen, their ears are infected, um, either with an ear infection, duh, or other things wrong that caused the wax buildup to begin with, so for a lot of people it's very painful. I don't have that, strangely enough. So, not only is it really quick, because it's actually pretty easy to get them out of my ears, even though trying to use those 
over-the-counter medications to liquefy the earwax just makes things worse for me. Um, but also, I don't experience any pain with it. Uh, the most level of pain that I'll have is either one, if there's particularly stubborn wax in there, I'll eventually get a mild amount of bruising because they are squirting jets of water against my eardrum. Or two, um, it will occasionally feel about as painful as ripping off a scab. It's basically nothing. I don't even consider that a one on my main scale. The bigger problem is the fact that I hear everything after this is done. The human brain is amazing at trying to adjust audio levels. So I that's the reason why I don't really notice when I'm starting to have my ears clogged until they're completely clogged. I'm, again, for reference, after about three months, I'm usually somewhere in the 96 to 98% occluded range. In this case, I was 100% occluded. And I only noticed it because the volume control on my headphones didn't go up any higher. Um, but unfortunately, the brain is not very fast at adjusting, which means that right now my hearing is so good I hear my cats breathe. Yep, okay. Now it's bye time. Bye.